Hey guys, welcome to another answers video. Now today I'm going to be answering some of your guys' questions. And to start off, we have Josh Beatty's question. He asks, have you played FNAF, Five Nights at Freddy's? Um, nah, I have played a little, and it's kind of hard to play. It's really more fun to watch other people playing. Yeah. And I have reviewed a little toy of that. Uh, I probably put that in the card, so check that out. Okay. Uh, do you think Fear the Walking Dead will be as good as The Walking Dead? Um, it'll never be as good. I, I just don't think so, because their characters are not as good as our characters from The Walking Dead. It will... It might get close if they get right the right amount of writing and some good characters added in, but currently, the way it's going, and just judging by the episodes we have, I don't think it's going to be able to catch up to The Walking Dead. But, that's okay, it's pretty much just an imitation of The Walking Dead, and it keeps us uh, in The Walking Dead mood while we're waiting for The Walking Dead to start up again. Okay. Do you think Morgan is a long-term survivor? Uh, sadly, yes, I do believe he is. He's probably going to be in the next three seasons or something. Uh, he, he really shouldn't. He's an annoying character, but, I don't know, maybe they'll fix him. Whatever. Uh, if you could pick one character to bring back, who would it be? So, character that's died to bring back. Um, that would be between Merle and Bob Stuckey. I like Bob Stuckey a lot, and Merle was awesome, but... The only problem is, if you pick Merle, that would change up the season so much. It, whereas Bob Stuckey was uh, not that big of a character that couldn't make too much of an impact. So I think he would work better for uh, having the storyline continue in pretty much the same way that it has been going. So I'm just going to pick Bob Stuckey. Okay. Uh, have you played Left 4 Dead? I got almost got a chance to play it at my uh, cousin's house. But then, it wasn't, their Xbox wasn't working, so no, I have not played Left 4 Dead. Okay, next question is by, whoa, this is a doozy of a name, Yellow Swag, Yellow Th Swag Thug Life Selfie, um, Thug Life Selfie. So, he asks, don't you think that if it was Glenn that got ki uh, killed by Negan, that he would look at Maggie at his last moments? Um, that's a good point. Uh, the, remember guys, you see the perspective of the person getting killed and they're just looking dead on at Negan. E I believe even in the comics when Glenn was getting beaten to death, he looked over at Maggie. So that is a possibility that there's a smoking gun there. However, e even if it is Glenn, I don't believe that they would show him turning to Maggie to look at Maggie because... The idea is they don't want us to know who got killed, so... Yeah, it would make sense if they weren't Glenn for that reason, but I don't believe that's really that big of a piece of evidence. Okay. Now, Sharon Reaper asks, How do you think Rick will act after Negan's killed one of his group? So after Negan's killed, I suppose, Glenn, maybe Abraham, how will Rick act... So, as I was shocked to see how um, sad Rick was in the last episode, so he seemed, like, utterly scared. So, I was shocked by that. So, <laughs> me picking out the way Rick will turn out, it's kind of up in the air. So, I think he will, at first, be, like, scared and sad like he is currently, but then that'll build up towards resentment, anger, and hate, and he's going to be revengeful against Negan, and then that's going to lead to the whole all-out war stuff, which is when things get really exciting. Okay. Next question is by Torvizla and Upbeat. And they ask, where did you get your Negan bat? Okay, um, I got it at a Spirit Halloween shop. So, you pretty much, it's around October that you can get it. And it's just like a little prop for a costume. It's made out of, like, foam with some sort of stick inside of it. And then it's got the barbed wire around it. It cost me... Well, it, they were charging sixteen ninety nine, but because mine was a little damaged, they took it down to half that price. So I got it for a pretty good price. Um, however, there, there's no guarantee that you would get it for that price unless you damaged it yourself. Okay, Sharon Reaper also asks... Who do you think are those guys on the boat in Fear the Walking Dead? 
Um, I think they maybe are good guys. There's a slight chance that maybe they're just uh, normal guys that we're going to end up hanging with. Um, just because I believe they're going to be bringing more characters in. However, there is also a chance that they are the creeps that we expect them to be. So that's all up in the air. If I, if I have to double down and say one or the other, I'm going to say they're creeps. Yeah, I'm just going to say they're foes. Just because if we don't get something going on in the show, at least even in the second episode, it's really going to get boring. Okay. Uh, next question is, who do you think will die in Fear the Walking Dead finale? So, yeah, finales tend to have deaths, so uh, that's a fair question. Who will die? Uh, I'm beginning to think that we're going to lose... Salazar's daughter. She seems to be like sort of a side character and they're sort of developing a relationship between her and Nick but she's still not a very important character. I feel that if they're gonna kill one of the characters off it'll probably be her. I Every other character seems relatively safe. And then uh, Sharon Reaper also asks who will live. So I just think that the main cast that we have now will probably live except for maybe Salazar's daughter. Now, they might shock me and kill off Salazar. He does seem like his character's sort of mm, not so needed at this point. He just, w having Strand there kind of negates Sal Salazar. Salazar was the guy who was willing to do weird stuff to get ahead, and now that's Strand. So is Salazar even needed anymore? I don't know. I'm getting the feeling that he's the one who's going to go. Okay, anyway, guys, that's all the questions. And make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure to stick around for a 200 subscriber contest that is coming up soon. I've almost got all the swag together to do this contest. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.